hello everyone we will continue the topic function module and in the previous videos we created the function group we created the function module we run the function module and function module is working fine now we need to call this function module inside a program because customer will always run the program customer will not run the function module customer will not go to sc37 transaction code ultimately customer always always run the program it means we need to call this function module inside a program so how to call this function module inside a program this is what we will cover in this particular video so what i will do i will go to sc38 transaction code and we will create a program first i will give some name to the program suppose i will say zprg sum of two numbers i will go for create i will give the title to the program suppose i am saying sum of two numbers i will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program i will save it as a local object i will activate the program now in this program we will take two input parameters because we are going for sum of two numbers and you all know whenever you want to go for single input you will always always go for parameters so i will create first parameter tab keyword is parameters i will give some name to the first parameter suppose i am saying p underscore input one type i will write numc2 dot you all know numc2 is a sap predefined data element which has a domain of numeric two i will do control d to duplicate a line p underscore input two so we have two parameters in the program i will activate the program and i will pass the selection text go to text element selection text suppose p underscore input one is first input p underscore input 2 is second input i will activate i will run the program so input is ready in the program now we need to go for logic now we will not write the logic in the program in the previous case you have written the logic in the program itself now we have already written the logic for sum of two numbers in this modularization technique function module so we will only only call this function module inside our program this is the main benefit of modularization technique we created the function module for the sum of two numbers so wherever you will require you now we will not write the logic we will only only call this function module so i will call this function module inside the program now how to call the function module inside a program important point whenever you want to call a function module inside a program you can call through pattern button go to pattern button by default first radio button is ticked call function so we will call the function module through first radio button only that is call function i will pass the name of the function module i will copy and i will paste 
So I called the function module inside a program. Now, first most important part, when I called the function module inside a program, most important point, because it will help us in the upcoming topics of function module. When we created the function module, we have how many input? We have two input. We have how many output when we created the function module? One output. But when we call the function module, import convert to what? Export. Export convert to what? Import. So you have how many export now? Two export. You have how many import now? One import. But when you created the function module, you have how many import? Two import. Those two import convert to what? To export. When you created the function module, you have how many export? One export. But when we call the function module, we have how many import? One import. So whenever you are calling a function module, they will interchange. Import will become export. Export will become import. Now it's not a technical understanding. It's just a simple, simple understanding. We'll go for simple example. Suppose I have two states. Suppose two states are doing the business. From the first state, I am exporting to second state. Why, why I'm exporting so that whenever second state will receive, it will treat as import. So from state one, I'm exporting and for state two, it will be import. Same thing is here. Now, if I will compare it to in terms of SAP, we have two things. One is program and one is function module. From the program, you are exporting. From the program, you are exporting so that whenever this function module will receive, it will treat as importing. Simple, simple, common understanding. Just compare your program is state 1 and the function module is state 2. From the program, I'm exporting, I'm exporting to what function module so that whenever function module will receive, it will treat as importing here. It will treat as importing most, most important point. This is first important point. Now, after a few minutes, I will come on to second important point also. So first input. I'm passing it to first parameter of function module. Second input, I'm passing to second parameter of function module. Intentionally, in the program parameter, I use P underscore. In the function module parameter, I used P so that you can recognize very easily. So this will go to this. This will go to this. So from the program, we are exporting. It means whenever function module will receive, it will treat as importing. Now, I will uncomment this importing. Now, P output will return the output to what? LV underscore output. I am declaring one variable in front of P output. Now, the second most important point, we are always, always going for what? That we are always passing the values from right to left, right to left, right to left. So you are passing the values from right to left. But have you seen when it returned the output, it returned from left to right. This is second most important point because it will help us in the upcoming topics of function module. So when I call the function module inside a program, import become export, export become import. And it's a common understanding. 
from the program you are exporting the values to function module so that whenever function module will receive it will treat as import so whenever function module receive it returned the output to what p output p output is returning the output to what lv underscore output so while returned it returned from left to right when we pass the values we are always passing from right to left but when it returned it returned from left to right now said now we will proceed further whenever i will check the syntax i will get a syntax error that i need to declare lv underscore output so what will be the type of lv underscore output it will be same as that of what p output it's a very very important point and because of this many times people will receive the runtime error in front of p output i declared lv underscore output it means lv underscore output is of same type as that of p output now how i can check the type of p output simple when you call the function module it is a part of importing it means in the function module it will be the part of what exporting so it's make a golden rule always double click on the function module now we need to go where export p output is of which type num c3 so i will copy this type and i will declare into my program data lv underscore output type num c3 so p output is also num c3 lv output is also num c3 always give the same type otherwise you will always receive it type mismatch error i will check the syntax and i will activate the program so suppose whatever the input you will give this input we are passing to function module it will make some some will be assigned to what p output p output will assign the result to what lv underscore output and we all know whenever we want to display the result how you can display the result with the help of write statement so i will write write lv underscore out i will check the syntax and i will activate the program so what is the summary of the video in this video we studied how to call a function module inside a program whenever you want to call a function module inside a program you can call through pattern button you have to click on to pattern button you have to go for first radio button call function you have to choose the first radio button call function and you can pass the name of the function module then we studied two important things whenever you are calling a function module import become export export become import it's a generic understanding because from the program you are exporting the values to function module so that whenever function module will receive those values they will treat as import and the second most important point while returning it will always return from left to right so p output will return the result to lv underscore output and most most important point always always declare of same type how you can check the type suppose in our current scenario p output here it is a part of importing so it says common understanding here it is importing it means in the function module it will be the part of exporting so i copy that type and i declared in my program of same to same type so p output 
will return the result to lv underscore output and i printed the result using right statement in the next video we will learn all this thing in the debugging mode so that this topic will make more more clarity to you so that's it in this video thank you